Hello, hello, and welcome everyone. Tonight we have some World of Warships Legends videos. I am Phoenix61 and doing a doubleheader because uh, we had two um, fairly quick games um, in a row. So we are starting off in the G101 German Premium Tier 3 Destroyer, We're slumming it down in the in the Tier 3s because I like to work through the Premium Supplies missions each week because I still have lots of commanders and stuff to upgrade. The G101 is probably one of my more favorite ones to play at the at Tier 3. I do have quite a few other Tier 3s, so I've been trying to um, get some decent games out of those guys. Um, at least the, the other Tier 3 premiums that are out there. Um, just to mix things up, because I play with this so much then it gets kind of boring to do videos on it. But we see a V170 out there and we will use the front seas here to try and take some random luck shots towards him and kind of see what happens. But at this point, not spotted, so I'm just trying to, you know, like, tier threes, like, you know, especially as destroyers, like, I like to be aggressive. It's fun for me, right? Um, so I don't, like, I don't care too much about win or lose <laughs> on these. I know I'm going to play another game if I have to, whatever, you know, so I'd rather get it over with. I'd rather I'd rather have a fast game in, in most scenarios, so I'm one of those folks who does not have the greatest uh, <laughs> overall win win percentage or win ratios um, just because of that. So our fellow destroyer gets uh, the first blood there. Off some torpedo shots. I'm kind of like right on the edge here of the zone so I'm like oh I might as well stay in it now and see if I can't help get the cap. I know that Geed's gonna probably uh, or know that their destroyer whatever's out there <laughs> and then this other one on this side so I've kind of got to be aware of that that torpedoes may come from either side. So of course I'm eyeing these up and I'm like, mine might not have to move here. And then they died out anyway, so we, we got away scotch free there. And you will probably start moving forward if we can't this zone. Let's see if we can't jack this kill on um, this destroyer. Zone cap. Start moving. So I know we have another destroyer that one, one that like kind of went way out beyond behind us. I don't know if the, he was kept getting spotted because he was firing his guns. He wasn't hitting me anyway, um, or if our uh, carrier was keeping him lit up. But I, you know, in like some circumstances, I'd probably go after that guy just because like, he's putting our carrier at risk. Um, but I'm like, well, it's tier three, like, our carrier's starting to move, so I'm like, alright, he's probably being smart, he's gonna move away, right? So, I'm gonna go where I'm most valuable. There's a couple other guys behind me, another, uh, cruiser and battleship on our team, so I'm going to press forward, go after this battleship, and then start heading towards the next zone. So, just kind of planning ahead, right? But, in certain circumstances, like, maybe, like, in a, like, higher tier game, or... You know, if I didn't expect anyone else to back up um, the carrier there, or if he wasn't moving, I, I might go after, yeah, that guy, that Clemson. <laughs> but now there's, there's so many people with more bullets behind me now, I'm like, okay, it's up to you guys, it's up to you guys. So we'll press forward, try and steal their zone, um, and then we'll probably have to deal with their aircraft carrier. Um, spotting us as I see the planes on the minimap coming right for me here. But we've got the engine boost going, so we're going to be tough to hit if he even bothers with us. Um, a lot of a lot of people like to you know use the the carrier to you know keep destroyers spotted, um, but just especially on these lower tiers, sometimes they just you know the carriers are just going to kind of go where they feel they can do damage or go for easier targets, right? So and that's what, exactly what happened here. So now we are eyeing up the Corbett. That's how you pronounce it. I'm terrible at pronouncing ship names. And if he's moving, which way is he moving here? If he's moving towards us. We might be able to get torpedoes on him. 
but yeah, I don't want to fire my guns because I don't want to, that'll instantly get us spotted. Alright, and then there's their Engine aircraft boost. carrier, they're Langley, so we'll probably mix and match torpedoes here. Zone capped. Come on, get in range. Alright, yeah, Corbett's kinda chillin'. So we'll send him some. And then these, um, you know, the nice thing about these frontsy torpedoes, um, you know, they're one shot, they're single shot ones, so you can get right on target pretty much. Um, aiming's quite a bit easier there. Um, with, you know, with the, the side shots, yeah, we're gonna be spotted. So I'm gonna, like, light up anyway. I just might as well fire my guns if I'm gonna be spotted anyway. Uh, but the Corbett seemed like he was not paying any attention to, you know, in this direction, so I wasn't worried about fire from the battleship. Um, and then, so we trigger fire on this Langley, so... Oh, and then we actually got a flood on the Corvette, so that was uh, the torpedoes I sent earlier at the battleship. Um, but now if we flood this Langley, he's not going to have damage control ready. Um, aircraft carriers kind of automatically um, spawn there, or use their spawn, use their uh, damage con, so he may flood to death. Oh, no. Somehow he had it. It does, I think it does come back quick for those guys, too. Uh, we actually lost a torpedo launcher here, too. Alright, so I'm gonna assume the Langley's gonna die, so we'll eye up uh, the Corbett. Yeah. If we, we didn't even get the kill for it, we had we still had two more torpedoes that were definitely gonna hit him. And yep, Corbett's still not looking this way. So I am not caring if I'm spotted. And this is kind of something that you typically, at higher tiers, you might not, you might not play like this, but you might not want to get spotted. But here it's just not, it's not going to be a big deal. You know, like, I'm not going to lose, I'm not going to, like, at risk of, like, losing credits or something at, you know, these lower tiers where you, that's, you know, especially if you don't have premium at higher tiers, you'll, you can lose credits if you're rocking the free to play, you know, if you don't have premium. So I know I'm kind of, like, shooting outside the, you know, the suggested firing solution there for torpedoes but if he changes directions or starts moving forward so that then then those torpedoes maybe would be on an appropriate path um, so it's, we're just kind of trying to predict what he's doing right now is he looking this way now <laughs> still though no. so i mean he's he's trying to focus on where he can do the most damage right so we're just taking full-on advantage of that and somebody else gets that kill as well anyway but we will take our 56,000 damage is not half bad for uh, tier 3, right? We accomplished a lot too. Lots of ribbons. Lots of colorful ribbons up in the top left, or top right. Directions are hard. Might be able to get in here and sneak in and grab the zone capture too. if we can get there. Engine boost to the rescue. Help us cap this. I think there's too many ships in there. It's getting captured too quickly. Oh, we're gonna win on points anyway. <laughs> so, because because we had those zones captured, especially that, that first one we got um, early on in the game, we were just ticking up points this, this whole time. 1700 XP, not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Um, a nice, fun little game in the G101. So we will switch to the Avery. Avari. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, uh, you know, this one. <laughs> I've been having a blast um, playing, and this is another thing too, like this, just some of the ships are just, they're just too tempting to play irresponsibly right and this is one of them because you get this rolling smoke screen that you can you know you can be going full speed and hit your smoke screen and, and go invisible so it's so tempting to just 
use that and be going full force towards a battleship and then come out of the smoke screen and dump all your torpedoes, right? So I play like just crazy risky, so. Um, but it, <laughs> it's fun and it makes for some great moments, even if the rest of the team hates you for, <laughs> for dying early. But it's tier five, it's tier five. It's not a big deal, guys. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I do think that some of the tier five, um, some of the tier five ships are probably my best, uh, like win ratio contributors, though. All right, so we use the smoke, so that we're not getting spotted by the uh, airplanes, right? And then kind of taking, I mean, these are kind of chance shots at these cruisers, um, and then we see an enemy smoke screen over there, and our zone is contested, so we know there is a enemy destroyer right within that smoke screen that we are probably going to have to deal with. Smoke screen set. Um, I, ideally I wanted to like stop and kind of back up and turn in so that I wasn't, um, you know, broadside to that smoke screen so that if torpedoes do head, head this way. Um, but then I was like, oh, I gotta stay, I gotta make sure I don't get spotted. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's just me. I'm just signaling, like, yeah, hey, hey, friends, there's a guy there. Um, so, engine boost and turn in towards up, turn in towards up. That engine boost probably saved me. I, I think ideally, like, if I like had a uh, like my reaction as they were coming was to just go forward, but if I had like taken the like half second of patience, I probably could have backed, <laughs> backed up and turned. Um, you know, towards towards those as well, um, and and got the dodge out of the way, but <laughs> Engine boost rattlehead. It's our Megadeth theme ship. I do, do I do do <laughs> I do do a video on uh, that ship. It's kind of fun. I think it's basically an old. So here's the gear that I know we're gonna have to contend with. Um, and I, I think that he's probably got better guns than we do too. The ship is on fire. Um, but he's already sent his smoke screen. We've got some support behind us here, um, firing at him as well. So I'm kind of like, you know, fingers crossed on these torpedoes, but um, yeah, we miss him there. But yeah, we, there's enough action here. Um, and some of these uh, the cruisers, thankfully, aren't shooting at us either. So we're kind of there's a little bit of luck in this game too, right? Um, but since we are spotted, airplanes are going to spot us in a second here too, anyway. Um, I decided to just shoot bullets, and that rattlehead just happened to take some of those leftover torpedoes that were actually meant for the heat before, so that worked out even better for us. Isn't that nice? Alright, rattlehead number two. So this is what I was talking about, so we are not spotted. We are going full force, full forward, full speed, um, and just lighten up and shooting our guns here while the smoke screen goes. It obviously doesn't, you know, the down, the downside of it is it does not last anywhere near as long as pretty much any other smoke screen that exists in the game, but it gives us these awesome moments of being able to be on the move and fire our guns at the same time, or and or sneak up on somebody, right? So, so these are meant for the other rattlehead that was kind of sneaking around that other island. And I'm assuming my friends off to the right side of the map can manage, you know, a two-on-one situation. So I didn't even bother looking back towards them. Um, but you know, sometimes you gotta trust the team, right? You can't do everything. But yeah, I'm keeping an eye on those torpedoes. I'm really hoping that rattlehead was moving forward and like continued to move around, right? But I mean, there's torpedoes that are probably from him, so he probably did not do that. And then the bullets are kind of also an indication that he's probably still hanging out right at the side of that little cliff edge there. Yep, there he is. <laughs> so I'm just in range of being spotted, so I'm going to try and see if I can't get out of that. And then we also, now we've got this ledge here, and we're taking bolts from somebody else. Great. See if we can't get these cheap shots here. This is a, the carrier seemed to want to uh, pick on me, so um, I assumed I'd get spotted anyway. We are going to turn around towards his torpedoes. That's going to be a fairly easy dodge. The uh, looks like he's the Soviet carriers. So they drop all their torpedoes at once, but then they're uh, they are underwater. They're deep in the water uh, for much longer than any uh, 
other aircraft carrier torpedoes, right? Or airplane torpedoes, right? So um, if he does not drop them far enough away, they aren't, you know, back up close enough to the surface and they just go under you. So that's kind of a nice, nice getaway when they um, screw those up. Come on, bullets! Semi-auto pierce rounds, let's do some actual damage here. See if we can't outgun him. Just because he's so low on health. So we're trying to stay angled appropriately, right? I'm going to use the smoke just because these planes are going to keep me spotted too. Um, but we probably might not have needed it because now all that's left is the carrier. And the, uh, you know, he did drop their skip bombs and so all of his planes are on the way back anyway. So there's not any risk of another, you know, another drop here anytime soon. So we will circle back around and go get the ACAT. So not every game is crazy exciting, but this is kind of just like the, I don't know, like I wanted to say like I was playing aggressive, but it was also, you know, we had made some appropriate conservative moves as well. We did some smart things, and that's what worked out for us too. We also had a good team with us too. We only lost three ships on our team, so, um, you know, thanks team, thanks team. <laughs> So I know he's got, he might come after me, but I mean, at this point, we'll, we'll win on points eventually, and if I die, it doesn't really matter, it's not a big deal, right? But we will go for him, because that's literally the only thing left to do in this game, and we'll see if we can't get a carrier kill as well. I love it when decisions are made for me, right? Like, I don't have to... All I gotta do now is dodge airplanes and go after this Surav. <laughs> We will use our one remaining engine boost, a whole 25 engine seconds of it. Activated. The nice thing is that these, like, Italian ones that the engine boost, like, these are, like, crazy good. <laughs> like, they're, like, full-on ramming speed, use everything you got. So, like, they work way better than um, the other engine boosts from other destroyers, but they only last the 25 seconds, right? Um, so, yay yeah, for us. We'll see where we end up on the scoreboard, and that'll be it for this video, guys. So, please make sure to... Like and subscribe to my itty bitty channel here. We like to have fun. Fabuki beat me out quite a bit, almost a thousand more XP. All right, so you know that wasn't that wasn't a game won by us. That was a game won by our team. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, more videos on the way.